Okay, to help you understand where we'll be heading to today, up first is a quick little recap from last week's show. Crew River Lodge in northern Saskatchewan, and my first time there to sample it from Monster Pike, along with my daughter Carly. You had a good trip? Hey, here we are. Exactly. Anytime you get there and all of your stuff gets there, it's a good trip. Wapata Lake, with the Cree River coming in on one end and going out on the other. So this is one entrance, that's another entrance, and another entrance. Cruising the river looking for summertime pike, slinging the weed beds, both as cover and as ambush spots for darting out and snatching crayfish. Oh my God. <laughs> Targeting those weed beds for a day and a half with large flashy spoons and doing everything possible to encourage strikes. Oh. And many, many huge aggressive gators oh that definitely did. But look at the gut on this thing. Carly, look at this. Look at the belly. I'm losing calories how fast my heart is beating right now. So what do you think of pike fishing so far, Bubs? It's very fun. Very scary. I'm very excited. It's That's my right daughter right. here. That's my girl. You ready? You ready? Oh my god. Okay, now what's your heart doing? <laughs> look at that thing. I could eat like seven flitzes. Yes. Oh. There's that technique again. Oh. Yep. I just watched that mouth come up and gulp this spinnerbait. There, look at this. This is a big dog, big dog. Where? That one? Yeah. Oh yeah, one last thing before we continue. Way, way, way too much footage to do justice to in only one show. So, today we continue with the second two days of our time up at Cree River Lodge. Well, we're up at Cree River Lodge. I'm just rigging these couple of rods. Look at this jig here. This is called an H2O Precision Jig by uh, Custom Jigs and Spins. And you take, when you put it on like so, you get it past that barb, and that thing hooks onto the plastic. And I mean, that's all we're gonna use up here for walleyes. Now we didn't come up here all the way for walleyes, although Pat was telling me that they catch walleyes up to 32 inches here, which totally surprised me. We're on the Saskatchewan Northwest Territory border which is a long ways up. 32 inch walleyes up here is amazing. That it means it's river system that his business is on here is a really fertile place. It's gonna go that way, is it? Yes. I think that fish is pretty much gonna go wherever it wants to. Yep. You got a glimpse of it, didn't you, Pat? Yeah, it looks like it's around 40 inches. It's always a nice treat when we're walleye fishing. That's a great pike. It's over 40, I believe. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, God, don't do that. You can net him uh, if you want to, if you need to. I'm going to have to. It has a line in its mouth now. Oh, no, it's gone now. Well, that's still good. Oh, we'll get this one. <laughs> great fish. Oh. That's a good fight to start today, huh? Hey, that's wow. great. First fish of the day, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Start fishing walleyes and boom. By the way, this is day three of our Cree River adventure here. And we're just getting started. We thought we'd start with walleyes this morning and, and catch a bunch for short lunch and a bunch for fun. Well, we'll put her back and see how it goes. And of course, we're not fishing pike. So Carly catches a great big pike on her walleye gear. Yep. There's nothing wrong with this one. Big pike? Yeah, it's close to 40. Close to 40 again? Yeah. My one arm is going to be so much bigger. <laughs> Maybe the size. Go that way. I don't know what his problem is. Oh. 
Shoot. Well, on this lighter tackle, you kind of got to let them do whatever they want to do. Yeah. That was a great pike. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice fish. Looks like a big log. Just like a big log is right. There we go. Good job, Carly. Oh, thank you. It was great. Oh boy. Here's another one. Is it a big pike? I don't know. Feels pretty solid as I'm lifting on him. <laughs> walleye. You do. There you go. Better get the walleye. Yeah, it's a great one. Round two. Close to 40. Nice one. Yes, beautiful colors, real dark backs, real golden sides to them. I love that. There we go. Great walleye. Mm -hmm. Now, when we return, let's just say for now that the pike were so aggressive that they didn't stop biting, no matter how large or live the presentation we incidentally made. Continuing now, way up there in Saskatchewan at Cree River Lodge, after days of unparalleled pike success, we settled back to do some summer jig fishing for walleyes at the mouth of the Cree River in Wapata Lake. There's a good lunch one. To be honest, there was really nothing tricky about catching walleyes here. There were so many walleyes beneath the boat, it was almost ridiculous. We're gonna fish walleyes for a while here, get some for shore lunch, catch a few more for fun, so you can find a few bigger walleyes, and then we're gonna go piking. Once I got here and started talking with Pat about the fishing and the walleye fishing, and he said his biggest one was 32 inches. Well, that's a big fish. He said spring and fall, they catch them. Uh, he said a lot of five to 10, 11 pound fish. And in summer, I mean, Pat didn't even have a locator on his boat. He's driving around fishing spots and just new places uh, where current edges were. And we stopped there and caught walleyes. And then did we get in for a surprise. Ooh. Big pike. The pike was, was on your say, walleye. That, that pike's on the walleye. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> One big pike after another big pike coming up and hitting the walleyes. I mean, you're landing a two pound walleye or sometimes even a three or four pound walleye. And you just see this huge mouth coming rah, and pounding on the walleye. They come up like sea monsters. Oh, there he is. We never did get one netted, but we tried so hard to net the pike and the walleye at the same time and uh, come awful close. Oh, I think it just spit it. It's like right back there. It was. Yeah, oh, there it, oh there, there it is, there it is. Where? Right there. You oh. got the fish, you got the pike. Did you see that? He spit it He's, out. He, and he hit he the wall line and the wall went off the hook and then the pike <laughs> caught himself. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice, nice pike. I don't know if it's 40, but it's a very nice, it's not It's not the real big one that we see. No. But it's, it's a great pike. Another great pike. Boy, you, you talk about scaring the socks off you when you're not expecting it. You're just fighting your walleye and all of a sudden here comes a mouth and four foot of body behind it. It'll get you going. I'll we'll put him in the bucket. What a bad day for that walleye. Yeah. <laughs> he gets caught and he gets shredded at the same time. <laughs> That's a fact, isn't it? Okay, that should be about enough walleyes to do what I'd say, wouldn't you? Now for one of the greatest daily treats everyone gets to experience each midday on fly out fishing trips like this. Gosh, you work up such an appetite whenever you spend the time outdoors and there's no better way to satiate it than a fresh shore lunch with all of the classic trimmings. Big fish, whoa! Yeah, you wanna net this one too just in case. That's a big fish. All right, ready, ready, ready? I don't think it is. Little did oh. we know, last August at Cree River. There it Whoa! Is. Wow. Another one. 20 is. some pounds. On our last day of pike fishing, boy, did fate have a few surprises in store for us. That was unreal. I didn't expect <laughs> that one. 
Wait till you get them in your hands. Where's your phone or I'll use, I can use my phone? After completely wiring the weed bed spoon dance river pattern for monster pike over the course of our trip. Go cool, girl. Nice big fat fish. Perfect. We put all our eggs back into that basket and started casting once again. Oh, baby. That was a big fat fish too. Now this is where it's time for me to simply shut up and give you all a chance to watch. Big fish. Maybe over 48. Yeah, it's a great fish. So I've seen my dad pretty excited about a lot of things, whether it's a big buck or a nice bass or whatever. Really big fish. Had to drop it back three times to get her to hit. You want to net this one. Just as he got the words out, I wish there was a 49 inch pike and it slammed his bait. Nice fish, <laughs> you see the size of that fish. <laughs> I was gonna add a couple other adjectives. Holy buckets! Great fish. I don't think I've seen him that pumped That's up a about fish. something, and I don't even know how long. Holy yeah. cow! <laughs> I seen her come flying out of there, yeah. and she come out and missed, took a, a, a run at it, missed it. Yeah. Took another run at it, missed it, and I'm dropping it back. Took another run at it, missed it. And then she turned around again, I dropped it back, and wow, she had it. Boy, and look at how, look at the size of this fish. Ah, come on, come on. Here. Big fish. Here. Uh, pliers. Hey, you want it? Yeah, I want it. You got it? Yes. There you go. Absolute beauty. I'm going right from there, right from there. We got 50, 49. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for a chance at one fish that I said on the way up here. I said, give me one bite if that's all I get this afternoon and let it be bigger than 48 inches. This is not a fish of a lifetime, Carly. This is a fish of several lifetimes. Hardly any places left in North America have fish this size. Here she goes. Oh, you big girl, you. What a wonderful experience. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Yes, it's been great. <laughs> oh, woohoo hoo! Those are rarer than hen's teeth. If you guys are looking for a place with gargantuan pike, you have found it. It's Cree River Lodge in northern Saskatchewan. They get them bigger than that. And that is so much bigger than 99% of the big pike lakes have in them. It's a joke. And they haven't even started to explore this whole system yet. Oh my God, my heart is just going bo 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 And I can see her, and I knew what to do. She comes in and she dives at it, and she misses. They're not as good as we think they are, you know? She missed it three times, and I'm dropping it back, boom, just like Carly did yesterday when she caught that great big fish. If she wouldn't have done that, she'd have never ever had that fish yesterday. But she knew and kept her presence in her head about herself, and did it perfectly. So did I, right there. Whoa! I'm done. There ain't nothing else we can do here. I'm done. I'm done. Done, done, done. Holy buckets. This is another one, Pat. It's a good one? This thing is so fat. Carly, oh, yeah. wait till you see this thing. It's huge. Just got the words out of my mouth. Yes. Because yes, we were right back where we caught that other gargantuan fish. There this thing goes. is huge. This may be thicker and deeper than that 50 or 49. I haven't got a real good look at it yet. But... I have. It's huge. Now you're going to see it. Oh, yeah. Holy. That's good. I'd say 47. 47, 48? Yeah, real thick. Oh yeah, that's a great fish. Holy. I 
Thank you. <laughs> Look at that thickness. I'm thickness. telling you. Oh, don't do that. You're gonna give me a heart attack, you old girl. Oh, oh. Two fish like this in one day? Oh boy, this thing's big. It's a real thick, thick fish. Oh, Holy buckets! Oh. Holy. Look at the gut. Absolute monster. That's as excited as I've been fishing in a long time. <laughs> good. I mean, <laughs> last week I caught a 13 pound walleye and that's yeah. exciting as can be. Yeah. But this is like a 16 or 17 pound walleye. That's right, that's right. You know, I mean, <laughs> woo, woo, woo. So, Cree River Lodge, any skepticism that I may have had that it would measure up to all the other top pike fisheries I've experienced are now completely put to rest. In fact, I'll take that statement even further. Cree River is the single best monster pike fishery I've ever seen. That's as excited as I've been fishing in a long time. That's good. I mean, <laughs> last week I caught a 13 pound walleye and that's yeah. exciting as can be. Yeah. But this is like a 16 or 17 pound walleye. That's right, that's right. You know, I mean, <laughs> whoo, whoo, whoo. I have been to many, many places that I'm gave up you. big numbers oh, of fish oh, over 40 oh, 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 inches. Oh. And Carly and I most certainly saw an awful lot of those on this trip, which is plain awesome to catch wherever you're lucky enough to find them. Look at that thing. I can eat like seven fixes. <laughs> and yes, I've been to lakes where I've seen and caught even bigger pike than that 25 to 30 pound range as well. Prior to this trip, not to brag, but I've been able to successfully land five true monsters over 30 pounds. But here's the thing about Cree River. Never before in my life have I been to a giant pike fishery where I was able to catch two pike over 30 pounds on one trip, as well as getting into the numbers of other big fish like Carly and I did. Ho! Woohoo! -hoo! Those are rarer than hen's teeth. If you guys are looking for a place with gargantuan pike, you have found it. It's Cree River Lodge in northern Saskatchewan. They get them bigger than that. And that is so much bigger than 99% of the big pike lakes have in them. It's a joke. And they haven't even started to explore this whole system yet. My friends, it takes a quite a bit to freak me out about big pike or to honestly make a claim that any one fishery is the best I've ever seen. But in this case, I'm just calling it as I see it. If I were smart, I'd keep a mouth shut about the Cree River and do my best to keep it a secret only for myself and family. Instead though, I'll just put it out there for all of you to consider as a place you and your family can go for the pike fishing trip of your life. I'm Babe Winkleman, thanks so much for watching and until next time everybody, hey, good fishing. <laughs>